Welcome back to Giving Chances Farms. Um, today we come out into the bee yard and uh, found a few, uh, what, two, possibly three. 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 Yeah, um, two of which had uh, queen cells placed in them around uh, June 30th. Uh, well, 20, June 25th and then another one on June 30th, sorry. Um, and there's no sign of anything in the hive at this time. They're uh, both of those hives and then are uh, basically went honey bound. Um, so today we come back out and uh, decided to use one of our strongest hives uh, which currently has four medium supers on it and uh, as soon as we're done grafting I'm putting a fifth one on there um, it's pretty packed out with bees and they're packing it away and she's still laying strong um, let's see if we can get a good okay. All of them are filled. look at the frame here real quick um, so this is the frame we chose to get and for those of you that are new to grafting uh, basically what we do is she takes this tool right here it's called a Chinese grafting tool and it's got a little plunger on it with a piece of wood that it kind of pushes it off there so she slides it down into the side of the cell and gets the absolute smallest larva she can find which is about that day four stuff is what we're looking for as close as we can with uh, our own eyes and then what she does she pulls that out and she lays it over here in this this is the cell bar it's got these little plastic cups on it we use the uh, jzbz cup holder um, and then what we'll do is we will go over here to the hives and we will which one are we going to use um, we're going to use that blue one down there that we just started to make today um, so the blue nuke down there in the corner kind of by itself we're going to bring that cell bar all the way down here we've got a couple of frames in it already I'll backtrack and get one frame of honey to go with it we've got a couple in there that's got some nectar on it already that's uncapped and then uh, there's one in there that's got some pollen on it as well uh, but we'll use this blue five frame nuke right there and uh, we will put the cell bar down in it then I'll go yes I'll grab some uh, frames of cat brood verify that the queen is not on it and I'll put one right beside that that's got some cat brood on it and then we'll shake a few frames of nurse bees in there with it always verifying that the queen is not a part of that frame because if she is she'll kill those queen cells but what we need to do is we'll verify the queen's not on there and have a frame of cat brood and a nurse bees on there and we'll put that whole frame nurse bees and all into that box that way the nurse bees can help draw out those queen cells for us they'll stay in that five frame nuke for 24 to 36 hours then we'll come back out and take a look at it and the ones that are starting to draw those will be good queens cells we'll move those into a finisher box and what we're going to do with the finisher box is we'll use one of the hives here it's actually uh i'll show you which one it is so this one right here has three supers on it and see the red brick on top is standing straight up that means we had a problem in this colony that's how we mark our colonies that have problems we use a brick red brick standing straight up that tells us we got to recheck it so this one here has three supers on it and both of those bottom deep boxes they went honey bound and filled everywhere so this one here had a queen cell back on 
625 says check it again and there was absolutely nothing in there today and today is july 9th um this video will actually be played the morning of the 10th so we will use that as our finisher uh, we do have a clean excluder on the uh, above the top box but there's no queen in that box so it doesn't really matter right now but normally for a finisher hive you could use one of these others that has a queen in it and you could put a 10 frame box above the top of that queen excluder just move one frame of cat brood up there next to your cell bar and the uh, nurse bees will come on up there they'll finish out capping your queen cell for you and then uh at the end of day nine is what we like to do some will go out to 10 or whatever we try to go to day nine and we take that cell bar out they should all be fully capped by then we make our splits or if we're using the hive that we need to fix we'll take those cells out and uh, introduce those into the hives that we need to fix um, normally we don't go back into those hives for at least a week we try to push it out to two if we can to give her a chance to emerge from the cell go out on her mating flight and come back um, like I said we don't see any anything at all in that hive um, it there wasn't even anywhere for her to lay if she did come back so we did end up swapping uh, three frames out of there for three brand new frames uh, fresh wax foundation that way they can uh, give them something to do while we're trying to get the hive fixed so right now what she's trying to do is she's trying to look for frames with cat brood on it okay take bees and all just verify that she's not on there um, at one time we went through and marked all of our queens the uh, beginning of this year um, and then we've marked them the most of the swarms that we've caught this year we've marked them as well um, this year is blue and we have noticed that uh, the blue marker uh, paint marker that you mark them with um, we've marked them we've let it dry made sure it was dry put the queen back in there and it just doesn't seem like it stays very well um, compared to some of the other colors uh, red seems to do real well for us but the blue doesn't really um, I don't know if you can hear in the video I'm getting pinged pretty good but that's because I'm on the front of the hive here and they're not really liking that so I'm gonna try and squeeze between them and get back here um, she's gonna take that one over that gives you five frames right all right okay well hope everybody enjoys the videos um, look out for the future update on this one we'll do a video here in a, a day or two as we uh, go to pull this cell bar back out of this hive and then uh, we'll show you how many of them have drawn out we only grafted one bar which is 15 cell cups on our bars that we use so um, definitely more queens than we're looking for right now um, but anything that we get extra is extra um, honestly we grafted 15 wanting seven um, so we figured if if we hit a 50 percent success rate this go around we'll be happy um, hope everybody enjoys the videos don't forget to like subscribe um, hit that notification bell so you get notified of all of our future videos um, once again as a reminder our videos are released daily at 6 a.m. our time um, I believe right now we're on Eastern Daylight Time um, and we'll see you on the next one have a good day